Hello everyone, this is Lydia. Write Then Cut is a great feature for customizing cards and other projects with the look of handwritten text. It's very easy to use and opens up lots of possibilities for a wide variety of projects. In this video, I'll take you through the basics of writing text using the Cricut Explorer, Maker, or Joy. If the operation is set to pen and the style is set to regular, the pen will follow the cut lines and the result will be bubble or outlined letters. The pen is tracing the outside of each letter. The only true single stroke writing fonts are Cricut fonts with a writing style. To find these fonts, click on the text icon and then click the down arrow on the font bar which will bring up the font menu. Uncheck only current fonts. Then on the filters tab, filter to writing fonts. This will show only the fonts that have a writing style. For this project, I'm going to select Baby Steps. Note that this font has a cutting and a writing style. As of the most recent Design Space update, when you filter to writing, the writing style will automatically be selected. So now I'll just enter my text. I'm going to put it on a line here to make it a little bit easier to line up. These cursive fonts like baby steps will look better if the letters are moved together. So to do this, begin by ungrouping the text. Starting in the center, the, move the letters together by selecting each letter and using the arrow keys or clicking and dragging with the mouse while holding down the shift key. Note that once the text has been ungrouped, it can no longer be edited. Grouping the text after moving the letters is optional, but it will make it easier to manipulate the text on the canvas. So I can either drag a bounding box around my text to select it all, or I could hold down the shift key and select each letter in the layers panel or in this case since uh, that's this is the only thing I have on my design canvas I could go up here to select all to select and now I'll group it if you're using a current font design space will automatically adjust the letter spacing written text needs to be uh, attached to the shape that it will be written on for example you can insert a square and I'll, I'll change it to yellow. Now I'll unlock the padlock to size it. Unlock the padlock, right click, send to back. So that's a pretty good size. I could still adjust this size if needed, but I like that pretty well. So I can select both of them now and and I can uh, do, uh, center it if I want since my text has been grouped and that centers it vertically and horizontally. Now it's uh, this is all selected and so it's ready to be attached so all I need to do is click attach. Now that the image and text are attached, click make it. Since they have been attached, the image and the text are on the same mat. If the image and text are on different mats, they haven't been attached. Click Cancel to go back to the design screen and attach your text and image. After clicking Continue, the cut screen will have the instructions for the tools that are needed. Select your material and it will tell you the the pen that needs to go in there and if there are multiple pens it will indicate that and in this case I'm using the fine point blade. So once the tools are loaded in the machine the project is ready to write and cut. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has please give me a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.